शुरुआत करने के पहले थोड़ा सा बातचीत कर लेते हैं कौन तो तो यार मल्लिका पहले तो अपने बारे में कुछ बताओ ना टेल मी समथिंग अबाउट योर सेल्फ या श्योर माय नेम इज मालविका टिल 10th ग्रेड एक्चुअली आई यूज्ड टू लिव इन सऊदी अरेबिया रियाद एंड देन आई शिफ्टेड टू इंडिया केरला इन 11th ग्रेड आई स्टडी इन सरस्वती विद्यालय इन ट्रिवेंड्रम द कैपिटल ऑफ केरला एंड या आई हैव बीन एक्चुअली फॉलोइंग वेदांतु सिंस 9th 9th एंड 10th आई कंप्लीटली रिलाइड ऑन वेदांतु YouTube चैनल and so i took the paid courses in 11th grade that's good fantastic uske pehle film mein padha wow that's great just joking so yeah okay fine so malvika so i i can i'm on calling you correctly correct Mal, uh, yeah malvika Mal- 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 yeah malvika na yeah so ये <laughs> बताओ सर हम लोग कब जा रहे हैं चलो बहुत बहुत बढ़िया बढ़िया तो मी कि यार पीसीएमबी पीसीएमबी क्यों लिया लाइक यू टेक टेक बिकॉज़ एक्चुअली आई 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 वाज नॉट नॉट ऑन व्हाट टू टू टेक आफ्टर but okay. since i was not sure about what to take after 12th my parents were like just take both so that you know i have more options in front of me oh that's great so even after 11th also you continued in 12th also you continued with pcm yeah so fir dono mein aisa matlab chakke kaise maar diye it was not that hard honestly was... oh wow yaar kaha milte hain aise but actually it was it worked for me because now i want to go for biotechnology So oh. it requires both maths and bio. That's great. Really like, uh, Malika, yeah. how how did you handle maths and bio in eleventh and twelfth? Because both are the new subjects for the students who are coming yeah, in eleventh. Yeah, actually, eleventh was very tough. Okay. And I didn't get that very good marks in eleventh, but maybe I I think I got used to that you know that much syllabus and the routine in twelfth. In eleventh, okay. it was very hard to manage, you know, because. till 10th we only had one book for science yeah and in 11th we had two textbooks for physics two for chemistry it was very hard to manage but i set up a routine and by 12th i got used to that routine so what are your routine in the 12th class malvika 12th i used to try to finish maximum of what was taught in the classes that day itself and then solve the homework and then weekend i used to just cover up the backlogs and you know there were tests in vedantu right and write that so malvika like you were you easily uh, got into that routine and you were able to follow that routine matlab yeah bhai ye shivam ye aise log hum milte hain bhai hame kar bachcho ko jo sikhayenge usse pehle hum log sikh lete hain hamara actually yeah the other some students were very sincere right uh, because she was she was in my batch okay yeah. uh, like that's a kid okay who was very silent in the class she did not talk a bit in the class okay that's, that's kind right. of student but she follow everything whatever the teacher say If teacher saying to do this homework, she doing that homework. Teacher saying to give this test, वो सारे test देती थी. Right. That's what I'm saying. Okay, all the students. The consistency is the key in the eleventh and twelfth, and example in the front of you only. ये वो तो मैं feel कर पा रहा हूँ लेकिन मैं सोच रहा हूँ यार बेटा बच्चों लोग तो बाद में सीखना पहले मैं ही हम मैं ही थोड़ा सा personal class में लगता हूँ बेटा. यार girls में होता है I don't know how. मतलब girls have this quality. Okay, I have seen it in many girls students. They have consistency. Why am I feeling Shivam sir that your wife is somewhere around and you are speaking all good about girls? Uh, <laughs> fear of being beaten. No sir, actually she is my student, so I am taking side of her. अच्छा मैं बोला ऐसे पीछे से कहीं चप्पल ना आए ऐसे उड़ते हुए. 
चलो दैट्स ग्रेट तो मालिका व्हाट योर फादर डज व्हाट योर एंड व्हाट योर मदर माय फादर ओन्स अ बिजनेस लॉजिस्टिक्स ओके लॉजिस्टिक्स इन दुबई इटसेल्फ इन रियाद सऊदी अरेबिया ओके और लाइक ओके अंडरस्टूड ओके एंड एंड सो यू बेसिकली बिलोंग फ्रॉम केरला या आई एम फ्रॉम केरला ओह दैट्स ग्रेट तो एंड एंड व्हाट योर व्हाट योर मदर डज माय मदर इज अ हाउस वाइफ ओके दैट्स ग्रेट एंड एनी ब्रदर सिस्टर या आई हैव टू ब्रदर्स ऑल यंगर वन Two younger brothers. Oh my God! <laughs> no, just try to imagine the pressure they are having. <laughs> Actually, yeah, my mom started the dialogues from today itself. <laughs> she's usually the type who doesn't give that much pressure, but after today's result, she started. <laughs> she started. Your brothers might be like, "Why you laya? You made the marks." <laughs> yeah. And abhi kyu laya? Jab ye vacation par hai. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, that's great. So, uh, so your future plans are going for biotechnology, correct? Right? Biotechnology. So have you appeared for JE or NEET? Yeah, I wrote JE. Okay, how was the performance there? It was good. I think I can get into NIT. Oh, that's great! Yeah, fantastic. Quite good. So, yar Malika, tell me, like, uh, थोड़ा सा ऐसा बताओ ना कि मतलब हमेशा पढ़ते लिखते रहते हो या फिर मस्ती में क्या कैसे कब रहते हो कैसे रहते हो? Actually, no. I think I have a good balance. Okay. Yeah. Till tenth, till tenth, I didn't study that much. But eleventh and twelfth, yeah, I gave more time to studies. Okay. Okay. That's great. Yeah, Shivam sir, me ko to zada samajh nahi aa raha hai. But I think she's the best example for the student. Okay. Ah, uh, who did not study much, but she's the example. Like, if you do the hard work in eleventh and twelfth, and you are consistent, I'm not saying you have to yeah. study ten hours, right? You have to study only three to four hours every day, but you have to do it every day. तो स्कूल स्कूल टाइमिंग्स टाइमिंग्स क्या थी तुम्हारे मालिका सॉरी टाइम टाइम वाज फ्रॉम टू एंड आफ्टर आफ्टर दैट दैट आई आई टू रीच होम एट अराउंड ओके एंड 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 देन 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 स्टार्ट स्टार्ट स्टडिंग या वाज एक्चुअली वेरी फार फाइन बाय मे बी फाइव एंड व्हाट अबाउट योर Ajay, so it was five, from five, yeah. Okay, five till which which time? Five till ten. Ten. Ajay, five and, till which time? Ten. Yeah. yeah, and then there were breaks in between. I think every day there were uh, three classes were not there, so you know we get time in between. Okay, so in in between that time you used to study. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, Actually, I didn't go to school every day. I took a lot of leave. So yeah. Yeah, so this is a big learning hai, that uh, during the timing of uh, her coaching, she used to study. because 1.5 hours ke sessions hote hain so 1.5 hours into 3 uh, into 2 or into 3 sometimes to do bacha hua time hai most of the time students do take it as a leisure ki yaar aaj to classes nahi hai let's exactly. it or let's let's chill it out so i guess she was studying there very good yaar bahut badhiya and school uh, so whenever you don't used to go to school at that time you used to like study or what Yeah, I used to wake up a little late and then try to cover because when the classes are there, it, it's not possible to cover everything that day itself. So I used to try to cover, finish that portion maximum by the end of the weekend. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. But like, like, I just wanted to understand why Vedantu then. I don't know. I actually in ninth, I went through many channels because in uh, it was when I was in ninth that COVID came. Uh, and online classes just started so nobody knew much about the good channels in youtube so i went through many and ultimately i just liked to edantu yeah, that's good degra shivam se thoda acha padha lega tha matlab wahi sir so bachche like uh, what are your message for the fellow uh, students jo abhi 12th mein aane wale hain what do you want to say to them like uh, if anyone is very tense about the board exams so what are your message for those students It's not unachievable. Many people think after coming to eleventh from tenth that it's something huge. Actually, it's not. If you just study that day itself, that's it. Just be consistent. If you try to take it up in the last two or even three months, it will seem like a lot. You will you will get tense. It will be a lot of pressure. But if you study from the beginning, you will get an idea of what the portions are. And by the end, you just have to revise. And you can solve solve many sample papers. I think that's very important. That's right. it. Just, just, just have faith in yourself. It's never, un- it's not unachievable. Hmm. Pretty great, yeah, Malvika. Yeah. I am too. I am too. I am too truly mesmerized because I am the person who always used to tell students, "Beta, PCNB, mat lena." 
have yeah, either I, I saw your it. video <laughs> i showed that to my parents saying see he saying don't take pcmp so because so uh, what i so i see a lot of students i have been teaching since last it has been almost 12 years yeah so in 12 years i have came across a lot of students and almost 99% end up being very frustrated if they take if they go for pcm because pcm and then pcb yeah both of them itself are like too huge and in fact for 90% students pcm itself alone pcm is very untamable so so i think you should you know reevaluate yourself like some people can't do it and that's not a fault everybody has their own capability so if you don't you truly really, you truly can't do that then don't take it just because somebody is forcing you so like were you able to re- uh, evaluate yourself at the time of like when you were taking these two sets no actually i was very i did not want to take maths at all but now i'm thankful that i took maths because i would not even have been able to give je otherwise so basically uh, i guess here is a new learning that uh, because her father pushed her and she and because of that she knew her new new limits she was yeah. able to understand that okay i can do this much uh, I'm, i'm able to go to this limits So a lot of time, uh, probably for students also. Uh, see, sometimes, in fact, most of the time, I also suggest don't go for PCMB. But at some, yeah. at a few moments, your parents are suggesting you for going for PCMB, and at that moment, because no one is God here, at that mm-hmm. moment, you also might not know that yeah. whether this PCMB might turn out to be a very good decision for you as well in your coming life. So, okay, PCMB के लिए भी ठीक है. अगली बार से इतना बुरे comments नहीं होते. Yeah. Okay. Hello. So, uh, so Malvika, I'm, I wish you all the best. In fact, uh, uh, we'll try to get in touch with you more often so that yeah, sure. sometimes you come to the YouTube channel and we can get some so that we, our nanny monny bache, Malvika Didi, Malvika Didi, they can get some <laughs> tips and tricks from Malvika Didi. Uh, exactly. In today's class, I uh, show the class uh, the result of Malvika. Everyone was so excited to see her. Ki please, uh, Malvika Didi, class me leke aao. We wanna listen. You know, how to prepare? Because getting these kind of marks, I think she got four ninety six out of five hundred. Yeah. Right. So, well, that is not a small thing. So, bache, many, many congratulations. Thank and, you. So, this is something which is very exciting also. Because when I also used to prepare, I, I, I always used to feel like, how are they? 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 But so, sir, you are a very big example that marks don't matter. You <laughs> teach so well. अरे बेटा तो देखो मतलब I don't know maybe a good luck मतलब कुछ बोला I would always say it's been a blessing of my parents, uh, God, all the people around. It's it's just a good luck. Otherwise, so many people work so hard. So I'm not the best example for that. But ah, ठीक है. I I keep on trying. And the same message I I want to give to students. But at the same time. मैं जो मैसेज दूंगा वो टीचर के एंगल से होगा तुम जो मैसेज दोगे इट बी लाइक इस एज में भी कर सकते हैं तो करते हैं दैट्स ग्रेट यार सो इट्स रियली वंडरफुल टू टॉक टू यू मल्लिका वेरी एक्साइटेड टू कॉल यू इन फॉर द कमिंग सेशन सारे बातें करेंगे एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी मैं इतनी सारी हिंदी बोल गया एंड शी इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो दैट्स ग्रेट यू एम सर और कुछ uh that's it sir uh left last one question like uh, malvika uh like in vedantu you have done uh, two years right in the class yeah. yeah so like what do you want to say like what is the thing that you find vedantu which was very helpful to you i think the connection between the teachers and the students even though like you cannot see us the teachers can't see us but still uh, during the classes many times we can chat with you and you know it doesn't feel like you can't see us I think this is the first time that you are seeing me right but I don't feel that I feel like I know you so closely even oh, wow. the mentors they call us repeatedly they ask our feedback and the feedback is taken into consideration they try to improve on that it's not just asking feedback I think that's the biggest thing So the I guess Shivan sir she was in pro batch correct Yeah 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 yes bahut badhiya bahut badhiya uh, like Malvika uh, in the 11th class how do you find the 11th class was compared to 12th class Like you told that eleven class was too yeah. difficult compared to tenth yeah. class. So how you cope up with the twelfth syllabus when you are coming after the eleventh class? Eleventh was very tough because even the syllabus is so different. There is no connection between the tenth and eleventh syllabus. So compared to that, twelfth was easy. I think even the chapters twelfth is easier in all the subjects. 
so if you start at least try studying in 11th then you get used to the vast amount of syllabus it will be easier in 12th usually what happens is people don't study in 11th uh, like taking a break from 10th board exams that's why 12th seems so hard but if you study in 11th i think 12th is pretty easy wow okay uh, now malvika the most important question like uh, like we know that in the journey of a student the uh, parents plays the major role right apart okay. from the teachers so like um, how was the behavior of your parents when you were doing this kind of hard work at your home like what what kind of support did you get i think the biggest support was they never pressurized me at all they used to ask me why i am studying so much so you know they, i never got any pressure from my parents so that that is the biggest thing because i've seen my friends being pressurized by their parents and that that actually is counterproductive because it makes them feel very like they don't want to study so my parents never pressurized me yeah that's the biggest thing i guess this is a in fact in all my previous uh, interactions with a student i have always seen that uh, at all those moments where the parents have become the biggest friends of their of their kids mm. they have outshined like anything so i just remember two days back i was interviewing a kid he had got uh, so he had got 98.79 percentile so he had studied from at some some xyz coaching he said that sir your session was referred to me by my father i was like what so he said yes sir my father is a big fan of you like acha tere father mere ko la tu fan hai like no sir i to watched your video very late but then my father said that follow this guy uh, follow this teacher he is a he is a very good guy and uh, he teaches so well so then i started watching your lectures and then i was truly mesmerized and then and he he increased his percentage so in the last first attempt probably he had got some 80 percentile mm -hmm. in the second attempt he got 98 percentile so so uh, i and then in fact this is not the first meeting in fact in three four multiple interviews with three to four different students i got everywhere i got the same response sir parents suggested me your video or parents are helping me in the preparation so i guess that's a very strong point so malvika just one more question so you said that you like uh, vedantu you like this teaching and x or all such things so i'm pretty sure you would have come up came across lot of other teachers as well yeah so what's that beautiful or unique part which you which you really love in vedantu's teachers or in the seco system that 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 gives you a feeling of wow just a smile in your face again the same thing you behave like friends we don't feel like your teachers that's what happens in school like we respect teachers but we never see them as friends but mm -hmm. i've uh, all of the vedantu teachers i consider them as to my to be my friends first and then my teachers so you feel like studying you feel like attending the classes more it's not something that somebody is making you to do mm -hmm. i think that's the biggest thing yeah thank you sir carry on okay uh, so malvika just few more question and then you have to yeah. <laughs> okay uh, so malvika now uh, on the lighter side what are you plan for the next one week what are you going to do no i for the next one week i'll be in thailand now okay yeah so like uh, now, right now you're thinking about the college and study at all or what no i'm taking a break after 3 years of studying okay <laughs> nice Yes. Ah, uh, so, I mean, so right now you are planning for biotechnology in in some of the NITs, and then yeah, a career in the biotechnology. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Cool. If possible, Malvika, then uh, try for the IIT Bangalore also. Okay. If you, if yeah, I'm, I'm the writing the IIT exam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. IIT exam, you can discuss session with Malana. Hmm. Uh, Malvika, have you given the CVT exam? Like I asked you. No, to... I didn't give CVT. क्या बचे यार मैं सीयूटी देना चाहिए था आपको तो एक्चुअली आई वांटेड टू गो फॉर बीटेक बायोटेक्नोलॉजी सो सीयूटी इज ओनली फॉर बीएससी राइट सो आई डिडंट गिव ओके ओके या ओके आ तो सर आई थिंक दैट्स इट है ना नाइस टॉकिंग टू यू मलविका थैंक यू या सर नाइस टॉकिंग टू बोथ ऑफ यू थैंक यू बाय बाय